that matter, but really to see a change in your life, you wanna give something eight weeks. This is the best sleep mask of French fry hack. Good morning. So I'm voicing over this part because I decided to wake up before the family. So I didn't want to talk and I didn't want to wake up my daughter and husband and dogs. I find that for a healthy Sunday reset, if I do this, if I do a workout when I especially don't feel like it, that's when I start making changes and that's when my habits become routines and I stick with them. And oh hi, Harpy woke up. I learned this tip in the book Atomic Habits that when you're feeling really good and you have a ton of momentum, it's easy to do things like work out and eat healthy. It's when you don't feel like doing it and you do it anyway is when you start turning the things you want into habits and routines. <laughs> We're gonna teach you how to be productive. And this guy's oh, this guy says he's a bean brain. Oh, yeah. It's not working for the brand, Jared. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna start by walking to breakfast, getting in my steps. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Okay, so we just got to Trader Joe's. We never come here. Violet just fell asleep. It's like a freaking carnival cruise. Jared bought these shirts that are like eggshell here. So it looks like he's wearing a vest and here. And he hates it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Good, how are you? I gotta start with the flowers. I want really pretty ones, like, which one? I don't know if I like all that color. Too much color. Look at my girlfriend going to the pool with her daddy today. They're going downstairs, yeah? yeah. <gasps> Look at the crabs. Oh, beautiful, the little crabs. I love your bikini. Yeah, bikini girl. Hey guys, so we just got back from Trader Joe's and I just did a little Trader Joe's reel on my Instagram. So I'm gonna leave my Instagram right here. It's also down below. It's always down below in my videos. You guys can follow me there. Um, I didn't even show you everything that I got just because there's only like 15 seconds, but I thought I would show you what I got at Trader Joe's, like a little Trader Joe's Sunday haul um, and how I plan to eat everything. So you guys know I am on this eight week program. I just kind of started it myself. It's just like a little challenge I made up for myself where it's eight weeks of staying consistent with something. So you can apply that to your life. Maybe you want to do eight weeks of journaling, eight weeks of meditating, eight weeks of self-love or self-care. It doesn't matter, but really to see a change in your life, you want to give something eight weeks. Being said, I am eating more lean meals. I'm not like incorporating carbs into every single meal. For me and my husband, what we're trying to do is when we eat carbs, we want to eat them in the beginning of the day. I really like to follow the circadian rhythm, not only with my sleep schedule, but just with how I'm eating, you know, having bigger meals in the morning, smaller meals throughout the day when our body isn't needing as much energy when we wanna go into resting mode and all that. That's why I usually work out in the beginning of the day and not the end of the day too. Circadian rhythm is basically just following the rhythm of nature. When it's light outside, waking up. When it's dark outside, going to bed. And there's a lot more to it, but that's just like in simple terms, the circadian rhythm. So definitely look it up. It's very earthy. It's just a great way for me to live my life. Sunday wisdom for you. We'll make things like chicken or steak for dinner. And I feel like if you're not having a lot of carbs with it, like rice and potatoes, sometimes it can get boring. So I got different dips. So the first is this cauliflower dip. It says it's cauliflower and jalapeno. And this one is a tzatziki dip and it's creamy garlic cucumber. The next thing I got is butternut squash zigzags. I thought like these could be like a French fry hack. The next thing I got was almond butter with no salt. So I got creamy almond butter with no salt. I'm the kind of person out of sight, out of mind. If I'm not seeing it in my fridge, if I don't have junk food in my house, then I don't eat it. But if I have it, you never know. <laughs> so we got their famous cookie butter. If you've never had this at Trader Joe's, 
don't even start. Um, I ran out of this, so we got the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. This is a Trader Joe's staple. Everybody talks about this and for good reason. It's delicious and I plan to have little cucumber boats with yogurt on them and this, and it's like you're eating a everything but the bagel, kind of. Let's not get carried away now. So I got the vegetable fried rice. I also got this, which I've had before. It's cauliflower and cheese ravioli. And then you guys know I love, love, love this. This is the miso and ginger broth. New to Trader Joe's, if you haven't been, you have to get their flowers. Something about their flowers, they just last forever. They're really good. Okay, so I also did a Whole Foods haul. So I did Instacart. Um, and I got some organic chicken. We're gonna grill that tonight and then have some chicken for the week. I got tomatoes to make chicken salads, lemons obviously for my pretty water. I like to add lemon to water. I also like to flavor it with salad. So I have um, a thing of mixed greens. We also got some Rouse tomato sauce. So it's spaghetti made from spaghetti squash and it's 85% less carbs, calories than traditional pasta it says. Um, and then if you look at the back, it looks just like spaghetti squash. And even in there, it's just like dried spaghetti squash. Take a little peek. <laughs> okay. Ooh, making chicken. Wow. Yeah. We're having a picnic. Ah. Run in the bath. You probably hear that. Picking out PJs, getting the hooded towel together. So I'm just gonna get Violet ready for bed. She goes to bed at 7:30. Ready for bed? Who's in their PJs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we have reached the skincare portion of the video, which just makes me so happy. So I pretty much take off my makeup in the shower just because I use that mascara that comes off with water, which makes it so simple. But I've been showing my favorite skincare products right now on Instagram a couple times just because it is so good. I love the color. Like it's cute, it's pink, it matches my robe, my aesthetic. I'm a pink girl. Um, and it's the Overnight Sleep Mask by Timmy. And this video is in collaboration with Timmy. You guys know I'm obsessed. I tried one skincare product from them years ago and it changed my skin, so I've just become a fan. And a lot of you guys know that product. It's the Repair Oil. And now they have their newest product, which is the Sleep Mask. I was actually texting with the CEO about this product when it first came out, D. She was posting so much about it and behind the scenes when it first came out and they were able to send it to me. An ingredient she loves and an ingredient that I love for my skin is hyaluronic acid. I feel like you'll hear a lot of people talk about hyaluronic acid in skincare products, but why it's so great and why I like getting products with hyaluronic acid is it's going to keep moisture in and really hydrate your skin. So it's going to help fight aging and make you look younger. I feel like this is that one product that we all need. Like there's a lot of skincare products that people use that I don't necessarily use. For example, I don't really use eye creams. Just never really use them because I'll take this and I'll put this right here. Like not too close to my eye, but I'll put it right under my eye. And that's because it has a couple other ingredients that we're going to get into in a second. I love to go to bed with a good amount of sleep mask and just wake up in the morning and feel glowing and new. It doesn't make your skin feel all sticky or like too wet. Like, you know how there's different products where if you go to sleep at night and then it's just like on your pillow and you like feel weird. This does absorb. So the other reason why I put this under my eyes and I'm also going to put it like a little bit thicker in the smile line area is because this product also contains B3. And why you want that in your skincare products is because B3 promotes collagen. So areas that you'll start to see age faster are like the smile lines and around your eyes. 
because it kind of just like plumps up this area. The other ingredient in this product is vitamin C, which I've talked about vitamin C on my channel before. Vitamin C is rich in antioxidants. For me, vitamin C will help fade some of these marks that I've been picking at. So I had two pimples here and I just like picked at them. So yeah, stop doing that. So I've had it on for a couple minutes now, like as I've been talking to you guys and my skin's already dry and I don't even feel it on my skin anymore. Yeah, if you guys do want to try this out, Timmy's giving you guys 20% off when you use my code SAMO20. So I have that on the screen. I'm also going to have that down below. I'm just in my pajamas, got my slippers on. Good morning, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, good morning. So it's almost seven. I mean, bye bye, you're up, right? But I wanted to finish this video. No, it's not Sunday anymore. But I wanted to finish this video with a little quick book review because I love to read and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. But sometimes it's nice hearing what other people think or what they took from the book. So if you go on my Instagram and you go to book club, you can see all the books that I'm currently reading. And I started with Atomic Habits and Atomic Habits like changed my life. But let's talk about the next two. So then February's book was Untamed by Glennon Doyle. It's super popular. A lot of people are reading this right now. And then March's book, I didn't plan to finish it so fast, but I ended up getting the audio, but it's blowing your way to the top. I would half listen and then I would half read, and I feel like that's why I ended up finishing it so fast. But this is a really good one to listen to because celebrity hairstylist, she also owns a hair company. She narrates it herself. And I said that about the Jessica Simpson book. I love that Jessica Simpson actually narrated her own book, and I like that Jen Adkin narrated hers. So it was really nice to listen to, but it was also a nice book to read this book reminds me so much of Yay! yeah this book reminds me so much of girl boss not like the stories or anything like that but just that it gets you excited about being a girl boss it gets you excited about going after your dreams untamed is not at all what i thought it was going to be i remember listening to her on a podcast talk about untamed and i thought it was going to be completely different and i was so pleasantly surprised. She touches on everything in this book from race to anxiety to depression to love, marriage. She actually left her husband and found love. There's just so many layers to this book. Like if you've read it, you know you can't just describe it in, in one sentence or you can't just what's this book about because it's not like a story that starts and ends it's not something like that it's each chapter they're really short and they each have a different meaning and a lot of times she'll take something from her childhood and she'll compare it to now and there's actually one part that made me cry there's i actually teared up a few times in this book daughter wanted to get her ears pierced and then decided not to and the ears piercing lady was like don't you want to be brave and just do it she talked about being what being brave means the rest of the book and i just feel like that related so much to me and when I was a kid and people saying like don't you want to be brave but like what does that even mean because I don't want to put holes in my ears that makes me not brave so that chapter made me cry for sure thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to check out Timmy I'll have everything down below my skin it feels so smooth this morning have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon bye